Hello, welcome to my November 2022 report on the electrical systems at our property which is located in the old county of Huntingdonshire in England, now forming the northwest part of Cambridgeshire. This diagram shows the major components which make up the system at the moment and further details can be found in the description below the video. This first graph shows the daily electrical energy coming into the property from the two solar arrays and from the grid. These figures come from the daily readings of the electricity meter and the two solar generation meters. The total solar production this month was 173 units, so the average solar production was a bit under 6 units per day, with a maximum of 19 on the 4th and a minimum of 0.7 on the 21st. 618 grid units were imported in total, with just 6 at normal rate and the rest at our Economy 7 low rate. The power was boosted from the grid on most days to between 65 and 100%, depending on the forecast for the next day, and only got down to 0% on the 17th. Two of the peak rate units were used in the final hour of the 27th, when I couldn't stay up until midnight and so started the boost an hour early. One of the storage heaters in the annex was switched on for 11 days in the month, when the tenant was in residence the following day. 6.6 .6 units were exported to the grid, according to the Tesla app, which was less than 1% of the total electrical energy coming in and 3.8% of the solar energy produced. The solar contribution to the month's electricity input was 21.9%. This second graph shows where the electrical energy consumed by the property and the car came from. The figures behind this graph are mostly supplied by the Tesla app, with the car's home charging figures coming from the My Energy app. 13.5% of the energy came directly from solar, and a further 7.1% was solar coming to the property via the Powerwall, giving a total solar contribution to the energy used of 20.6%. 23.7% of the solar units went into the car via the Zappi charger, mostly in small amounts per day near the beginning of the month. Most of the car's energy comes from the grid at this time of year, giving a cost per mile of 3.85 pence for the month. This graph shows the energy going into and coming out of the power wall each day, as reported by the Tesla app. The slightly larger than usual figure of 91% is down to the differing states of charge at the beginning and end of the month. And this is the self-power graph, based on figures from the Tesla app, which reported that the proportion of self-power was 47%. The missing part of each bar represents energy direct from the grid, and much of the green sections, which is energy coming via the power wall, also came from the grid this month. This graph shows the solar southwest production over the years since 2012. A bit of sunshine on the 30th saved the month from being the worst November production by this array out of the 11 years, beating 2015 by just one unit and tying with 2019. 77 units was well below November's arithmetic mean of 95.5 and the median is now 94 units. The cumulative year-to-date graph for the Southwest Array shows that 2022 remains in first place out of the 11 years, with a total so far of 3,528 units. Actually, with the small December yield still to come, that beats the full year production in every other year, so first place is now guaranteed. This graph shows the daily output of the two solar arrays for the past 365 days, with the gloomy month causing a plunge in the moving average lines. Here's the distribution of the energy input and export for the past 365 days. And this graph shows the daily solar production for that same period. This final graph shows a summary of our grid electricity usage since we moved here in the summer of 2011. The grey and red lines show the number of normal rate and low rate grid units used each month, as measured on the left hand scale. And the monthly electricity bill is shown by the yellow line and the right hand scale, and as expected, has risen above the green line, which shows the monthly contribution to the feed in tariff payments which we get for the old Southwest Arrays production. That's all for this month. I'll leave you with the Tesla app's energy graphs for each day of November and hope you'll pop back early in the new year to look at December's figures and perhaps, if I get round to it, an annual summary for 2022.